I feel that Selena was really just living for that social media acceptance. There was a point where she sent out some nude pictures. She started getting bullied by the local kids through social media. Oh, you're so fat, you need to lose weight. When Selena would get negative comments, it almost made it more of an addiction because then she really needed to read people's responses to those comments as opposed to deleting the comments. It broke my heart. I felt horrible as her mom because I didn't know how to fix it. Tammy says she wishes she could turn back time because if she could, she says she would have never given her 11-year-old daughter the phone that she believes ended her life. And I have no doubt that you're right that this had a contribution to her, her taking her life. So what was it that uh, was going through this precious child's head? Uh, let's, let's go through a couple of those with your permission. Can we read a few of these? Yes. And I, I know this is not easy for you, and but I you're here heard because- these actually. Are you okay to hear yes. them? Mm -hmm. Because I, look, I don't want to traumatize you further. Okay, because people need to hear it. People okay. need to know what's well, going on. Well, May 1st, 2021, this is a short time before she took her own life. 6.10 p.m. I am crying. I want to die. I feel everyone hates me. I fight myself every day. No to KMS because I remember some people love me, and that's no to kill myself. I self-harm. I know I sound dramatic and dumb, but my depression is so bad, and I am just not okay inside. You guys, think about this. This is an 11-year-old child. Then May 16th, 2021, 8, 10 p.m., everything I get bullied, I get told to kill myself, I get told to cut myself, I get told that nobody loves me, that I'm a waste of <laughs> and a mistake. Now, when you're 11 years old and this group that you've become addicted to, you perceive has turned on you, and they're very important to you, obviously. And then all of a sudden, they're telling you that you're worthless. Are they going to come tell their mom? No, they're not. Why? Because no child wants to come tell their parents, nobody likes me. I'm not popular. I'm, I'm not enough. And the, the issue is, these social media platforms know that this is going to happen. They know that it is happening. And that's a problem. Now, Matthew, Brittany and Tammy uh, are both clients of yours. You believe parents are, are fighting an uphill battle when it comes to social media. It's, it's David and Goliath here. Well, it's David and Goliath because the products are working exactly as they're designed to work. They're designed to addict children. You know, you're not the customer, you're the product. They make their money by selling your advertising. And the more time they can keep you online, the longer your eyes are on the screen, the more money they make. So everything that happened uh, to Selena and everything that happened to Brittany's daughter was the product working as it was supposed to be working. And unless they're held accountable, they're not going to change their behavior because they make too much money doing it. They don't show you what you want to see. They show you what you can't look away from. Yeah, we're going to talk more about this. Uh, we're going to add a father who says his teenage son shot him with a 9 millimeter handgun and then killed his mother. Why? Because they took away the violent video game he was addicted to. We're going to meet the father after the break. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.